ladies and gentlemen, look at Kong, the eighth wonder of the world. What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Max Toys and Models. We're going retro again, this time it's from the 2000s. It is McFarlane's King Kong based in an 1833 movie and it's from their series Movie Maniacs 3. This cheeky monkey was released in September 2000. Just check those teeth out and the detail on its mouth. Fantastic. This is around a 10 inch scale figure and in his right hand he carries fair rays and arrow. McFarlane classed this as a deluxe box set and it comes with two accessories including a Daro figure and a metal docking stand that Kong was chained to in the movie but in the model version here he is broken free. McFarlane was never big on articulation in the movie Maniac series and it was no different for their deluxe King Kong. I do love the paintwork in this one and I think it captures the representation of the 1933 King Kong fantastically well. His right arm moves two ways, up and down same with his legs, backwards and forwards. That's about as high as they go. The only problem is with the uh, few articulation in his joints, some of the poses you can put him into are very limited. Especially uh, the right hand arm when it covers his face, you can't move really out the road without twisting it all the way around 360 degrees. The head itself moves left and right, but it's, it's quite tight. Uh, the right arm, sorry I apologise, the left arm, has a joint at the elbow that allows you to rotate 360 degrees, allowing more posability on the left hand side. Once you get the positioning correct, this figure does look pretty mean. And there is articulation in the torso that allows you to move the figure from left to right but it is quite tight. This is the rear of Kong. I do love this angry pose here. And we'll just remove the Andaro figure from his clutch. She just slots in nicely there. I don't think the big guy wants to let go. He's got a tight grasp of her. I just need to prize her out and I got it out. Yep, let's check her out. I uh, saw somewhere in another video that they commented on how did they know she was wearing a red dress? I don't know, it's just one of the things they've just decided on the paint for that one. Unless they mentioned it somewhere in the movie itself. Yeah, she's pretty detailed. I would say she's singing, I don't know where the microphone is, but uh, I'm not saying any more than that. Yep, that's her Andaro figure, played by Fairy in the movie. A couple of things here I should mention. He's quite weighty and very robustly made. Uh, and he's easy to topple over if you don't get the position correct. Uh, his legs are very short uh, with his long arms and torso then obviously he does tend to fall forward. So there you have it, King Kong Deluxe Edition by McFarlane Toys, released September 2000. I'll just place them back in the stand. It's a cracking figure for its time. But it's a shame McFarlane tend not to make horror figures anymore. NECA have took the mantle for that one. As always, thanks for watching. If you've liked the content in this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and also hit that like button as well.